He's a mix master, he's a god, he's a producer, he's just everything. He's a genius. He's like... He's a fucking bitch. That's what he is. <laughs> Junior is a bitch, he's a cunt, I live for him. It's over, 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 over. He makes me wet. You can have a lot of artists doing the same thing and be equally successful. It's not a lot of us. There's only room for one, as far as I'm concerned. For me, it's a responsibility to be able to represent myself, my family, and my race as positively as possible. And it's very interesting to see how many people across the world, I mean, especially in Europe and the UK, where, you know, they know Latins from Spain, you know, and my, my family's from the Dominican Republic. You ask the average, you know, American what they think of a, when they hear the word Dominican, and they think drug dealer. In the future, I'll probably see like all kinds of these these turntables, different kinds of turntables, kinds of play backwards, play forward, play whatever, you know, like um, classical pieces of, of scratch, scratch pieces, but you know, just like, oh, that's that's a classical piece. People still do it to this day. It's year 3000. They still do that old piece from the year 2000. It seems like we're pioneering this music that hasn't been made yet, but it's it's definitely going to be there. It's definitely going to come. Something we're just planning for something in the future that hasn't been made yet. The party she got, the people in the bar, they just have this imagen. It's not habitual in the scenarios that my barrio, la del Junkie, con el periódico del parque. Johnny, discos a los ponis, inevitable que lo compre, si no es nombre de un centro terapéutico la pone. Tecni, agua, sonio, para sol. I lived in Queens at the time and I had a friend of mine who was a DJ who used to always do these block parties and these house parties. And from dancing and from breaking, I used to always wonder, you know, what, what is it like to control the tables and to control the crowd? Larry LeVan was really one of the pioneers of that in the Paradise Garage. Larry is what most DJs call the Godfather DJs. Larry was the man that was probably influenced more DJs to become DJs. Junior Vasquez, uh, David Morales, Frankie Knuckles, uh, all the different DJs have, uh, you know, credited Larry for inspiring them to become DJs. Uh, and he was like, they call him a shaman, and he, he definitely was.
Yeah, yeah. What we're doing is um, is it's kind of like uh, it's like it's like jazz music. You know what I mean? It's like a a piano player would play uh, play the piano. Uh, like the highest form of piano playing would be uh, like not classical, but jazz piano would be the most difficult of piano and the highest form of scratching would be like jazz scratching. You're just making it up as you go along and with technique. You play with my mind You make me feel damn fine And you hold on tight to me So tight I barely breathe I feel something good inside Oh, you're making me high Oh, and make me wanna shout out To the whole world Real love still is real I got yours in my life I got love in my mind And a feeling so sweet I got, cause I got So at this stage, we have the vocals down We got the track the way we want it We constructed the whole thing, we put the vocals on the track, and this is what we get. years old. I've been scratching for about a year and a half now. I participated in the DMC Montreal eliminations uh, last November where I won first place for Montreal. The question I guess you're asking is because they're not actually playing the instruments, are they musicians and therefore are they artists? Um, I think we go back to the, the idea of the deconstruction number. Um, for instance, is a conductor a musician? He plays no instruments. Is he, would you say he's a musician? Obviously everybody says yes, he is a musician. Why is he a musician? Because he is crafting sound in a musical way. He's crafting sound by using other people to in fact create that sound. Uh, he's using somebody else's music, it happens to be written. He never wrote it. Um, Bernstein never wrote Mahler, and yet he conducts Mahler beautifully, and he conducts, he used to, he's dead now, um, and he conducted the New York Philharmonic wonderfully with 120 people. But he himself never played a single one of those instruments. So I'm not quite sure why people have this problem with people who create sound in a musical way and then suggest that because they're not actually playing the instrument that they're not the artist. I think it's a bogus question, quite frankly. I think it's a bogus attitude. sounds uh, like tempo it's like um, between 140 135 to 170 75 and then the hardcore starts from techno and that's um, from 175 to 9,000 BPM it can be as crazy as you want actually the machine is now alive to rehousing in your last there's no use to hold me back I am ready to attack The machine is now alive Do we have it in your last There's no use to hold me back I am ready to attack
Tonight we're in Cannes uh, attending Midem, which is the big music festival in France. And the answer to that question is yes, today I definitely feel so. For me, if I didn't do the business, I don't know who else would. There's some family members I can count on and some very good friends, but other than that, what I've been through in the past 10 years isn't very pleasant. And uh, I've sort of been forced to take care of it on my own. So yes, I, I am a businessman as well as a DJ. Well, I have a degree, I have a master's degree in aeronautics and astronautics. It's been a long time since I worked on a lunar module and had my name taken to the moon by Neil Armstrong. And along the way, I, I got an MBA in finance. And one day, Gladys and I, Gladys Pizarro and I, who I started the company with, were working together at another label. And that label closed. And Gladys said, there's a new type of music called house that she believed at that time would become successful and we could earn a living at. And she's right. We started with $25,000. And next year, we should do a little bit over $15 million. C'est Mathieu Kassovitz qui m'a appelé en me disant « Voilà, euh, ça serait bien si, si euh, tu pouvais apparaître dans le film, faire une scène. » Donc pour moi, être une femme DJ, c'est euh, quelque chose de politique, hein, mais euh, ça reste assez subtil. C'est-à-dire qu'il ne faut, euh, faut pas faire toute une histoire du fait qu'on soit une femme DJ. Like I was saying, Junior Vasquez, he, he's the man, Carl he's the Cox main DJ. Junior uh, Vasquez, that's the guy. I've done Sound Factory, which was a major club, obviously. I moved on to Tunnel through, through my broken heart, or however you want to call it, my defeat, to arena
and uh, they had dancers behind me on these platforms. And at one point, uh, this kid was just dying to touch my hand and shake my hand. And so I went up from behind the turntables. I shook his hand, and before you know it, everybody had their hands out. And I thought they were trying to like pull me. So it was like almost scary. I was like, I said, I feel like Whitney Houston up here, like you know. DJs to claim that as good an artist as John Lennon is absolutely ridiculous in my mind. The Beatles will always have the Beatles. The Beatles are going to last forever. But these DJs, I think they'll be gone in 10 years' time. 